What if you could make your own private ChatGPT style AI completely under your control with zero reliance on open AI? Imagine a fully private AI ChatGPT for your organizations running on your infrastructure where you own the data and also control access. Hey, I'm Kunal Naik. I help businesses and professionals harness AI without unnecessary complexity. Let's get started. So let's dive in immediately. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go back to creating a server on CloudBean. So I'm using this CloudBean hosting platform. It's really easy to host these applications. I'm just going to say add a server first and I'm going to select any one of these cloud providers. I'm going to select the application here is going to be uh, basically, let's say um, the open web UI, right? So that's the application. And then I can say Atlanta GA or uh, whichever is the closest one to you. And you can give an application name. You'd want to go with at minimum uh, 8 GB one here for this to work effectively and your deep seek model to also be running in good time and giving response, uh, giving responses quickly. So you do that, say launch now, this is approximately $150. You launch now and your server will be launched. So I've already launched a server here. This is the dedicated one here. I have several different applications here already. And as you can see, I already have one open web UI, right? You can also add an application and say open web UI and it should be available for you to get added. But since it's already added, I'm just going to skip that step. It's pretty straightforward and move on to the next step, which is adding the DeepSeek one also the the application. So you can go here again, add here and then go down, scroll down and you'll see under tools, you'll see DeepSeek also available. There are several other tools available when Superbase the database is also available, which is cool to have applications and make them work here. Anyways, so uh, we have this web open UI application. I'm going to click on that. And as soon as you click on this, right, you have a lot of details and you have the link here, right? So that's the link that I have opened here and it will be available in open web UI here. So I'm going to go say next and I'm going to first create a login here. So I'm going to say Kuna Nayak and I'm just going to give my email ID here. And I'm going to give uh, a password okay, and just say create admin. And all of this is done. I'm just going to say, okay, let's go. So in that, in that quick, so I was able to install the open web UI and it's available on a server, on your own server, fully private data operational and and the best part is now by default all the deep seek models that are available on cloud bean because of this application they're all linked and available here right now if you are not already getting it directly here what you can do is you can just go ahead to the setting section and you will have the uh, admin settings, let's go to the admin settings. Yeah, you'll have the model section here. And as you can see, the models are already available here, right? So you can uh, uh, have them, they are directly configured and available for you to use. So it's that easy and I can just simply go back, do a new chat. Let me just choose my default model to be deep seek. And I'll just set that as default. And I'm just going to say, uh, can you, write a LinkedIn post on AI agents, say enter. And yeah, the census is our self hosted uh, LLM model privately owned and nothing is going out from the server because this is privately hosted here it's going to give some response and do it. Now you, you can naturally increase the server to in, improve this, uh, the response here, but for experimentation, it should be good. Uh, it takes first two times, but I think so you, you get used to it, but uh, it's really, really that easy to install it. Plus, if you want any other models that you want uh, lightweight models to use, you can ask the CloudBean team and uh, just go to the chat here and then tell them what all models you want to be hosted there. They will install that model 
and it will be available here for you to use okay and that's it uh, you're you're seeing that your own self-hosted model is now working and you have a chat gpd like interface which you can share with your team members you can go here go to the admin panel and start uh, adding more people here users here so it's doing all of this which is great let me just re-click it and open another browse another page of it okay and i can go here and say admin panel okay as you can see it's a fully operational model here you can go here and definitely add groups right so i can create a group i can then add more users to the group and it's that use you, you can onboard your entire company uh, to to do the, all of this there are some evaluations if you want to do there are some functions calling that you want to do and you have a lot of uh, other things to be able to do it right so you have the knowledge the prompts tools available a lot to do with it so yeah that's how you basically use uh, install open uh, web ui within one click and that to under five minutes so now you have your own uh, web ui or the chat gpt like application with open source model privately hosted on your own server it is not going anywhere what can you do with it think of the use cases and do mention that in the comment section